for the crossover step up, you will need a box bench or step like the one that you see here. Now you'll notice that this is not very high off the floor and that is intentional because with every exercise, we wanna first master level one and then we can start to make it harder and harder. In this case, that might be lifting this to a higher surface, that might be holding a dumbbell, something like that. If you go and step on a really tall step and you can't perform this in proper form, then you gotta start a little bit lower, okay? Let's first start where we're gonna end up. So step onto that step. The foot that is on the side is going to remain there. Your other foot is gonna be doing some movement. So stand on the foot that is on that side of the step. And from here, we're gonna bend our knee and kind of loop our leg back behind us down onto the floor, okay? Pretty simple so far. When you get to taller steps, this becomes much more challenging. So with this form, we wanna notice a couple of things. My knee is naturally not pointing exactly in the same direction as my toes. That is something we want to be mindful of. We do not wanna have our knee going in or out. We want it to be as in line with our toes as possible. To accommodate that and make that happen, that means that this foot needs to stay pretty darn close to that step. If we go way out here, now we're all sorts of thrown off and my knee is jutting forward and this is just very uncomfortable. This is not gonna be safe for me to step up from. So keep your bottom foot close to the step, keep your top foot close to the side of the step, knee as in line with your toes as you can possibly get them. From here, we do not wanna press off this bottom foot. We wanna press through this foot. So I'm actually gonna lift my toes on that bottom foot to prevent me from really using that foot to help me step up. So from here, we're gonna drive through this foot and come back to standing. Lower down, nice soft landing there, and press up. Now that we've got the form down with a low step, let's add height to the step. So I've made this step taller, and one thing I didn't mention before is I do wanna hinge at my hips a little bit, like I'm in a squat position from here up, right? Because it's gonna make it a lot easier than if I was trying to stand all the way up lift myself up, okay? Woo. So hinging forward just a bit, we're gonna press through this foot, drive it up. Yeah, I struggled with that one a little bit more and slowly lower down. Exhale up and inhale down. 